Hi. Previously, we looked at limits of rational functions, where x tends to infinity, and we get uncertainty infinity over infinity. Today, we'll look at the same type of limits, but now x tends to a certain number, not infinity, and therefore we get uncertainty 0 over 0. For example, let's take limits of x squared minus 9 over x minus 3 for x tends to 3. If we will substitute 3 into our limit, we will get 0 over 0. Now, that's a problem because we don't know what is 0 over 0. It's an uncertainty. Therefore, we need another way to answer this. And for that, we need to factor the function under the limit sign. Let's see. x squared minus 9. This is equal to x squared minus 3 squared. And this is very similar to the difference of squares formula. a squared minus b squared equals a minus b times a plus b. In our case, x is a and 3 is b. So here we get x minus 3 times x plus 3. And now we can rewrite our limit as limit of x minus 3 times x plus 3 over x minus 3 for x tends to 3. Okay, now we can cancel out x minus 3 and we are left with the limit of x plus 3 while x tends to 3. And finally, we just need to substitute 3 into our limit. We get 3 plus 3. And this is equal to 6. This is our answer. This is quite simple if you know methods of easy factoring, like formulas of averaged multiplication or methods of polynomial factorization. Let's see how they work. Now, here's another limit. If we'll right away substitute 5 into our limit, we will get 0 over 0. As I said, this is uncertainty, so we need another way of answering. And we need to factor the function under the limit sign. For that, we need to solve quadratic equation 3x squared minus 7x minus 40 equals 0. Discriminant of this equation equals 23 squared and therefore the roots are x1 equals 7 uh, plus 23 which is 30 over 2 times 3 so we get 5 and x2 equals 7 minus 23 over 2 times 3 and gives us negative 8 thirds so now we can rewrite the numerator in the following way 3x squared minus 7x minus 40 equals x minus 5 times x plus 8 thirds times 3, which is in front of our equation over here. And this gives us x minus 5 times 3x plus 8. Our denominator is already a prime factor, so it can be factored further. And now we rewrite our initial limit as limit of uh, this expression, x minus 5 times 3x plus 8 over x minus 5, while x tends to 5. Here we can cancel out x minus 5 and we get limit of 3x plus 8 when x tends to 5. Here we substitute 5 under the limit sign and get 3 times 5 which is 15 plus 8 gives us 23.
and that's the answer. All right, guys, here's our last limit for today. We have x cubed minus 8 over x squared minus 4, and x tends to 2. If we insert 2 into our limit, we will get 0 over 0. So once again, we need to factor the function under the limit sign. Let's see, our numerator, x cubed minus 8, equals x cubed minus 2 cubed. This is similar to the difference of cubes formula. a cubed minus b cubed equals a minus b times a squared plus ab plus b squared. In our case, x is a and 2 is b. So here we get x minus 2 times x squared plus 2x plus 4. Now denominator, x squared minus 4. This is equal to x squared minus 2 squared. This is similar to the difference of squares formula. a squared minus b squared equals a minus b times a plus b. Again, x is a and 2 is b. So here we obtain x minus 2 times x plus 2. And now we can substitute these expressions into our limit. We get the limit of x minus 2 times x squared plus 2x plus 4 over this expression, x minus 2 times x plus 2 for x tends to 2. We can cancel out x minus 2, so we get limit of x squared plus 2x plus 4 over x plus 2, while x tends to 2. Now we substitute 2 into our limit and get 4 plus 4 plus 4 over 2 plus 2. And this gives us 3. That's it, guys. Stay tuned to our channel. See you soon.